Hi. On today's show, I want to step you through an issue I found on my second DaVinci 1.0 printer that I didn't have on my first 1.0 printer. It's an offset problem. It'll print so far and then shift the print and then continue to print. You can see an example right up here. It shifted the print and then continued on. So I dug into it and I figured out what the problem was. So I'm going to show you what the problem is and how to fix it. I could see that there was offset throughout the whole print, but the bottom was clearly the worst. So I checked all the belts and they were tight, they were fine. So then I checked the base. When I looked at the base, I noticed the left side was all sealed and the bearings in place. But on the right, it was open. And then I noticed the base actually moved around the bearing. It was like loose. And when I moved the platform, I noticed the glass was sliding back and forth and front to back. So with the extruder putting plastic down, this is what I was getting. Movement all over the place. Now just to try something quick, I jammed an X-Acto blade in between the bearing and the plastic, and this worked really well. Then I took sandpaper, folded it in half, and jammed it in between the glass and the edge, and this worked really well. When I tried to wiggle things around, nothing moved. It was solid. And the edges of the glass don't get that hot, so I didn't have to worry about the sandpaper burning. And the fact that it was sandpaper, it was grabbing really well. I couldn't get the paper back out. And when I ran the print again, this was the result. Perfect, all the way up and down. Compared to what I had, this was a tremendous improvement. You may be wondering what this print is. It's a valence clip for my vertical blinds. I laid an old one on my paper scanner and scanned it in, then used Tinkercad to make it into a 3D object. I actually sell these on eBay to help pay for plastic. Next, I tried a smaller print to see how it would turn out. The white part is before the fix, and the black part is after. These small parts are printing so much better. So that's it. That's how I fixed the shifting problem on my DaVinci 1.0 printer. Now the X-Acto blade in the back, I kind of broke a piece off and then epoxied it in place. So that's pretty solid. The sandpaper, it's still in the base. I couldn't get them out. They're in there so good and it's printing so well, I left them. If you have a better idea for how to fix that, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. So that's it. That's my video. And if you like this video, check out some of my other videos. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. See you next time.